When a baby is born, there are so many decisions to make, from things like feeding to diapers or picking a pediatrician, but parents are also thinking about whether or not to bank baby's cord blood cells, which some say could be a lifesaver down the line. In July, well, it happens to be Cord Blood Awareness Month, so we invited Dr. Sharon Thompson to talk about cord blood and basically help parents sort through the facts so we can make some good decisions about our brand new babies. Good morning to good you. Morning. Uh, first of all, for for folks that aren't familiar, explain exactly what cord blood cells are. Sure. Um, cord blood is taken from the umbilical cord after the baby's done using it. So the baby's delivered mm -hmm. um, and the placenta and the cord would just be thrown away. So we can harvest some blood from that umbilical cord and the cells in that cord are immature cells that could potentially become any cell in the body. Okay, and so let's, that's talk, what we're talking let's about. talk about banking because mm -hmm. what does that mean? I mean, do you, you put it away somewhere mm -hmm. and it's almost like an insurance policy. Absolutely. So that cord blood can be stored and frozen uh, appropriately and can be retrieved later on to be used to treat certain diseases. There are two ways that you can store blood. You can privately bank it, like your mm -hmm. own private bank account, mm -hmm. or you can donate into public system. And what's amazing is there are diseases right now that are, are being cured and treated with these stem cells. Yes. So right now, uh, cord blood is most commonly used for uh, some cancers, mostly bloodborne, mm -hmm. leukemias, lymphomas, and some other uh, diseases of blood like sickle cell anemia and Fanconi's anemia. Now, as mm -hmm. OBs, are mm -hmm. you guys recommending this to parents? So there are pros and cons in terms of whether a parent stores blood. P public banking is a good idea. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, new and in some areas of the country it's not available, but there's some times when a family should uh, bank blood privately. Mm -hmm. And that is if you have a child who's affected by a leukemia or a lymphoma, or you know that there's a disease in your family that's uh. potentially treatable right now. Well, it's interesting because mm -hmm. I've made no bones about the fact that I have a child who is hearing impaired. Sure. And so diseases like that may very well be cured down the line with Absolutely. stem cells. Absolutely, and that's the promise of stem cell therapy is that in the future we can address issues like deafness, like Alzheimer's, like heart disease. It, I should mention it, it can be costly. And so if you yes. choose not to bank it, you can, like you said, indeed publicly donate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, and that is free. It's a donation that you make to the bank and that becomes available to anyone who has a need. All right, Dr. Sharon Thompson, thanks for sorting through the facts with us. Really Absolutely. appreciate that. Happy to be uh, here. And if you want more information, we'll certainly put Dr. Thompson's information on our website. Time now is 8.30. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Arizona.